from LoyMasida.com uh, with another question uh, for the Coca-Cola project. So Loy, what were some of the mistakes, bloopers, outtakes uh, of the Coca-Cola shooting? Okay, the Coca-Cola project. All right, fine. Uh, what were some of the mistakes? Um, we were asked by the director and producer uh, not to state our name, not to state what work we do, not to state where we are from or which country. That was one thing. I think in between we had one guy who said, okay, fine, let's uh, start introductions, who we are, where we are from, and what is our name? And then I just say, hey, excuse me, we're not supposed to say that. Like, oh, oh, fine, okay, sorry. And then just we went on, so it got edited. You need to understand that we had two and a half hours of conversation that was summarized into this few seconds of the Coca-Cola ad. Um, blooper, another <laughs> blooper that, uh, see, it was pitch dark. You couldn't see anybody. We didn't know who was who. So all of a sudden this guy comes and he has this shiny, uh, it was the, uh, the label microphone, uh, the receiver, and it had a green light. So, and obviously I could make out the guy sitting next to me is wearing a kandura, an Arabic dress. So I was like, hmm, it's there. So there was a moderator sitting in uh, amongst us. I think he kind of signaled to them because he told us this later. We couldn't see anything. So we are just sitting in the dark and looking. I'm, I'm looking at his green light. Then he, what he said is he signaled and he said, oh, the light, light, light. And, you know. So then somebody came and took him away and then we couldn't see the lights. Obviously, I knew a guy with a kandura was sitting next to me. So that was one of the bloopers. Um, but obviously, I didn't know who he was. It was just a small green light, you know. Uh, uh, I'll take... Uh, uh, you know, the whole experience, the two and a half hours that we went, it was unedited. It was raw footage. So either it would click or not click. So it was really, uh, you know, uh, pretty nerving for these guys. The only outtakes that they asked us to do is after the lights came on, they asked us to remove the Coca-Cola uh, box from underneath and view the can. And um, they made sure that uh, they captured it. But then they asked us, fine, we need to have the camera on each and every person and capture the exact feeling, the exact expression. So um, they asked us to do it again and again and again. But the director said, I want you to live that moment, be there and have the same expression. So that was easy. Um, that was the outtake because they wanted to capture each one's hand when you're turning the can. So that was uh, really, uh, that was the easy part. The difficult one was uh, when they put on the lights, um, I don't know what had happened, but they said, Fine, we have to capture the lights again. So they kept putting it on, off, on, off, on, off. <laughs> that was something. And one other thing which uh, the director asked is he wanted us to laugh. So <laughs> uh, he said, fine, you have this moment when looking at each other for the first time and laughing. At first it was easy, like put on lights and ha, ha, ha. But after some time, we put on lights, ha, 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 ha. ha. Oh, and some of us were overdoing it. Some of, And the director was, I mean, really good at his job. He said, um, okay. You'd have the walkie-talkie at the side. The boys would come. Okay, listen, um, Mr. So-and-so, uh, avoid overacting. Just do it naturally. He was very polite. And he said, okay, fine. Listen, you don't need to take it so funny. Just take it normal. So the laughing part, the outtakes were a little challenging, I would say. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, the, 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 the part which you may not know is the director by far, you know, most of the movies you see, they say the director is patient, the director is understanding. I kind of understood what they meant by that because each one of us was there and we had our mood swings. So I was just observing. One of them said, listen, I need to go on time. Other guy said, I'm getting late. One other guy said, hey, I can't take this anymore. And, uh, you, you know, each one had his own personality and the director didn't say to him, listen, no, please, I need you to be like this. I need you to behave like this. No, stop that. He would just say, hey, come on. He, you know, he was, he, he was like water. He just let everything soak in. He said, yeah, we'll let you go. Just, just take it easy. Yeah? So he tried to keep us in that, in that state where we would naturally be ourselves. And that, I think, took a lot of patience because on one hand, he has this project. On the other hand, he has so much of stress and he's handling so many people. And he's dealing with each actor or the cast and he has to really allow us to be in our element. So he allowed us to be playful. At the same time, he made sure there was law and order. So these were some of the mistakes, bloopers and outtakes of the Coca-Cola shooting. And uh, yeah, I, um, I, I, I would tell you it's, it's an unforgettable experience. Really, really unforgettable experience. Oh yeah, well, one last thing. There was an outtake where I was supposed to give the um, 
opinion of the project in the end. So I said it, I said it the way it was, and then I said, fine. Uh, uh, in the end, I said, you know, when powerful brands like these, uh, you know, come together, it's, it's a great experience. So he said, fine, that's an amazing line that you said. We want you to say the same line again, but say Coca-Cola. So I was like, I just, I just, I just spoke from the heart. I, 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 I didn't plan it. He said, yeah, say the same thing with Coca-Cola. So I spoke for so long. I didn't know what did I say. So I just spoke and I said, again, Coca-Cola, you know. So it was really challenging. So yeah, these are the outtakes, mistakes and bloopers that happened that day at the Coca-Cola shooting. So live from LiveMasita.com. Hope this answered your question.